Hello everybody, I'm Mark. I'm this Matt. is Matt. We're with Everything Summer Camp. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, today we're gonna go over some packing tips. We're gonna actually uh, pack this trunk. We're gonna give you a couple of different ideas for how you can pack a trunk. Um, and uh, we're joined by uh, Dr. Chris Thurber today. He's gonna give us his top three packing tips. Um, the other thing we're doing today is we're giving away a trunk. Um, you know, I don't know if you uh, joined us last time. What were we on about a month ago, Matt? Yeah, about um, that. Slightly before Easter, we had a trunk full of eggs and uh, we were giving away prizes. You know, people would let us know like, oh, I want the pink egg or I want the yellow egg. Matt and I would crack open an egg. And you know, we really wanted to give away a trunk and we never did. Uh, it's just, you know, nobody picked the, the egg with the trunk. Um, but today we are definitely giving away a trunk. So um, the only thing that you need to do to, to win the trunk or to, to be eligible to win the trunk uh, is to uh, scroll down to the bottom of this page. If you're on YouTube, check out in the chat, we have a link. Um, so the, the, this live stream is playing on YouTube and it's also playing on our website. What we want you to do is to get over to our website. So if you're on YouTube, check out that chat, click the link, come over to the website. Um, if you're already on the website, great. So once you're on the website, scroll down. Um, you'll have the, the video plane right below that. There's a product carousel. It has some of the products that we're gonna be talking about today in there. Below that product carousel, you'll see an entry form. All we're looking for is your name, email address, and the camp that you or your child goes to. Um, and uh, you just hit submit, and then you're gonna be entered to win. We've got a countdown timer going. Uh, we're at you know about 37, 30 and a, 37 and a half minutes. Um, once that timer's up, anybody who's entered, we're gonna do a random drawing to give away the trunk. You have to be present to win. Um, if, uh, if we announce a winner and they're not present, we'll give it about a minute for them to, to step up and, and claim the trunk. If they don't, we're gonna draw another name, but we're definitely giving away a trunk. Um, so. Anyways, Matt, I know you're excited. Um, I am. Matt works with a lot of these camps. We're going to pack this trunk up with camp clothing. Matt has a relationship with a lot of these camps, so that's going to be pretty cool for him to see all their clothing going into this trunk. Um, but I think for right now, why don't we start with uh, uh, Dr. Chris Thurber? So before uh, before we do that, you know, for those of you who don't know, uh, uh, Chris Thurber is the author of the Summer Camp Handbook, along with Dr. John Malinowski. Uh, both of them are summer camp experts. The Summer Camp Handbook is packed with phenomenal information for getting ready for summer camp. Uh, you know, even if your child is a third, fourth year camper, you're going to get something out of this book. Um, anyways, uh, Dr. Dr. Thurber is going to give us his top three tips for packing. Oh, this is one of my favorite questions. What are some great packing tips? Well, I've got hundreds, but let me narrow it down to three. First and foremost would be label everything. One of the things that I hope you get from Everything Summer Camp is a whole set of waterproof labels and stick them on water bottles, stick them on your tube of toothpaste, on your tennis racket. Pretty much anything that will take a label should have a label with your name on it. You know, every camp has a lost and found and it's really easy to lose things, but if you want it returned, it's gotta have your name on it. As you might have heard me say before, you should also pack a waterproof marker, like a laundry proof Sharpie like this or some other kind of permanent marker because there'll probably be a couple things that you forget. Maybe you'll buy something at camp and you want it to have your name. So tip number one is label everything. Figure out a way to get it labeled. Label socks, label underwear, label shirts, label shorts, label sports equipment, label your swim goggles. Between a Sharpie, waterproof labels, and iron-on labels, you should be able to get your name on everything. Second, and we can go to the Sky Cam for this one, I wanna make sure that you roll instead of stack. If you take a look here, it looks like I have a red towel, some gray underwear and some black socks. Now the socks are easy to see, but notice that this is a pretty standard way of packing. And I don't know how many pairs of underwear I have because they're stacked one on top of the other. A really cool way to pack your trunk is to roll things. That way you can see everything at once. So what I mean is roll everything, roll towels, roll underwear and stack everything like pencils in a can and that way you know exactly what you have at first glance. There's not layers, everything is rolled and you can see exactly what you have. Now, if we go back to the regular camera, 
you'll see tip three, which is right here, and that is the packing list on the inside cover of the trunk. Now, you have a duffel bag, put the packing list inside a zipped freezer bag and put the bag inside of your duffel bag. Whether you're packing in a footlocker like this, or you're packing a duffel bag, or you're packing maybe in a backpack or a suitcase, you want to have your packing list and handwrite any items that you add taped or with that piece of equipment. So when it comes to packing for the return home, you can go back through the list and make sure that you've got everything you came to camp with. All right, so label, roll, and make sure that that packing list goes with you to camp. Those are my three tips for today. Thank you so much, Dr. Thurber. Really appreciate you uh, joining us to, to give out those tips. Um, you know, uh, the, the very first tip that he gave out today was to label everything. And I think, you know, that's, that's pretty much on every single camp packing list that we've ever very seen, right? Yes. yes, yes. And, you know, not only do you want the stuff to come home, but you might send stuff off to camp where you're like, oh, I don't care if this comes home or not. But if it's not labeled, you're just giving the staff at camp extra work to do Absolutely. right yeah and and you want them focused on making sure that your child and all the other kids have a good time not running around trying to figure out you know whose sweatshirt this is um anyways a, a new product that we launched we actually launched this in 2020 which was really not a good year to launch a new product but it was, it was the way it worked out um didn't sell a whole lot of them in 2020 but last year they they really got put to the test um this is our uh stick on everything name label drew yep you got the sky cam going for me awesome so i'm gonna hold those up there here we'll turn it that way for you so there we go still getting used to it. we have a new sky cam here and uh that's uh a new addition to our studio so we're getting used to that but these uh stick on everything name labels they're they're fantastic uh, you know you don't have to uh, spend time ironing anymore we do have iron on name labels available if people are just want to do it the old school way and, and really get that that label applied but We've had a fantastic track record with these stain in clothing, but you can put them on a toothbrush, um, you know, uh, water yeah, water bottle, toothbrush, um, clothing. You know, it's best if you're doing clothing, if the clothing has a tag, apply the, the, uh, the, the label to the tag. If it's a tagless one, there'll be a print inside the shirt. It works best if you apply uh, the, uh, the name label to that, uh, that printed area. Uh, but if you don't have either of those, it seems to work fantastic applied just straight to the fabric. Um, I was commenting last week when we were doing the testing for these labels, I stuck one on one of my sweatshirts and it's a sweatshirt that I use to work out so it gets washed quite often. Um, it's probably been washed 40, 50 times and the, the name label's still on it. So. Yeah, they're very, very durable. Right. I stepped on one one day uh, at home. My son had a pack and uh, I can't get it off my sock. Oh, that's for real? probably been washed a hundred times. So. Oh, that's crazy. Nice, <laughs> nice. All right, um, so his next tip was on how to roll your clothes for packing. Why don't we uh, show everybody how that's going to work? I'm going to pull this tray out of here and set that off to the side. So go ahead and... All right, so the first thing we're going to do is, uh, well, you're going to... I'll just take it from the stop. So if you got a t-shirt here, you're gonna lay that flat. I don't know if you can see it uh, on down there, but uh, you know, bring the sleeves in. Then you're gonna bring the sides in just a little bit like this, just like you're fold the normal T-shirt if you're if you're gonna pack it like a flat one. So there, you're back to that. And then you're just gonna take it and roll it up as tight as you can. It's called the pencil roll. And that's a huge space saver. And then it's perfect for packing inside of a trunk. You can do that with a lot of different items too. You can see I already pre-rolled a pair of shorts here, basketball shorts. Um, this is, a, like I said, it's a huge space saver. We got Camp Coagas shirts here. Shout out to Ty and all the staff over there and all you fun campers that are going there this summer. Yeah, this is exciting. Camps are just about to start up, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Usually, uh, first batch like next starts next weekend, right? like the third. Yeah. Yeah. So um, right around the corner. there's three items. You can see it doesn't take much trunk space at all. Um, right. Still have plenty of room for gear. I mean, it's, you need more clothes than this, but um, it's definitely a space saver to, to say the least. So. Right, right. Uh, why don't you grab those out of there because sure. we're going to 
move on to a different way of packing. So I definitely like that way, and um, you know, I know a lot of people swear by that. Uh, another uh, good way to pack is with um, packing cubes. Now we offer these at, uh, at Everything Summer Camp, um, but you can find packing cubes at, all over the place. Um, you know, I have this one labeled for socks and underwear. Um, you know, here we've got shorts and pants. We can do shirts. Um, this is a nice way to go. Um, I mean, you'll, we could probably fit all this clothing into three packing cubes. I'm not going to fill all these because I think everybody gets the point. Sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, you might do days of the week. I think that can get a little bit dangerous, like if you were to do a Monday, Tuesday, because you don't know exactly right. what the weather's going to be like. Um, but, uh, you know, so I like shirts in one, pants in another. Right. Um, you know, probably a half dozen packing cubes are going to take care of everything that somebody's going to bring to camp. Yeah, the nice thing about packing cubes is uh, if you don't live out of your trunk at camp and you happen to have a cubby, you know exactly where to go to and you can just grab all those shirts and put them in one drawer and then go attend to your activities or festivities later, you know, and just come back it later. I mean, there you know exactly what's in there with those cubes and it stays organized. Right. Um, you know, one, uh, one concern that I think a lot of people have is just how much are they going to be able to fit inside of a trunk? And a lot of people have a hard time believing that they're going to fit all of this gear into one trunk. Right. Um, and you know, I will say it's, it's unlikely that you're going to fit all of your gear into a trunk, but most camps aren't limiting you to just one trunk, right? Correct. So they'll say like a trunk and a duffel bag. Yeah. Or two even. So, two duffels yeah yeah okay right so um what we're gonna do is pack this up today and i think what you'll see is what's left you know is gonna be maybe like some of your bulky bedding items what you want to do to start with is to pack the items that are going to uh the ones that you're going to want to access on a regular basis right if you're living out of the trunk you don't care so much about packing your bed sheets in there because right. bed sheets are going to go on the bed as soon as you get to camp it's not something you're going to go into your trunk for on a regular basis. So we want to start by packing, um, uh, you know, all of the, the apparel and gear that you're going to need on a regular basis. So Matt, why don't you go ahead and start packing this? Okay. Um, I'm going to read off. So what we did was we put together kind of a typical camp packing list. This would be for say a two week camp. Um, so we have 11 t-shirts and Matt's just going to, I know we showed you packing cubes and, and rolling, uh, for right now, just to kind of keep things moving along, we're going to uh, just flat pack everything. Okay, sounds so, good, Mark. Yeah. Again, we got Camp Kawaga t-shirts right here in the good old state of Wisconsin. So we're just going to lay those down flat right there, right in the corner, made for it. Okay, next up we've got two long sleeve tees. All right. Shout out to Camp Keystone down in North Carolina and Towering Pines, another Wisconsin camp right here for those cool summer nights. I'm going to put those right beside it. There you go. Since they're the same color, to differentiate the, uh, the type of t-shirt. Okay. All right. Um, next up is uh, two sweatshirts. Okay. This is a nice uh, comfort color sweatshirt that we offer here at the yep. summer camp. There's no camp on that one. No camp on nope, this Nope, that was just a blank one. So we got Camp Mowgli comfort color. Let's continue. <laughs> I'm going to stack those on top of each other just to keep them close like that. Okay. All right, next up is a basketball jersey. All right, again with Camp Kawaga here. All right, and then uh, after that we've got uh, two pajama pants. Okay, looks like uh, Camp Miramita. Yep. And, and then here, the, this is just a nice set of uh, fleece sweatpants, no yeah. camp on that one. All right, moving on to uh, shorts now. I'm okay. gonna move this trunk over yeah, by you just a little room. bit. Okay. So we've got uh, six pairs of shorts. Okay. All right. Just a generic pair, but needed at camp. All right, and then uh, the the packing list said uh, three pairs of jeans. We don't sell jeans on our website, so the closest we had was sweatpants. So we're gonna throw three pairs of sweatpants into the trunk. Sounds good. I'm gonna go right on top of the, the long sleeves over yep, here. You bet. All right. Next up, we've got uh, twelve pairs of socks. Here we go. Those are new for us this year. We have uh, socks from Under Armour. So uh, we've got 
the uh, the no shows which are very popular we've also got the cruise um, so good selection of Under Armour socks next up uh, we've got uh, 10 pairs of underwear went with Hanes for those leave those right in the package you can throw the bags away at camp or reuse them when you're coming home right all right next up uh, we've got two swimsuits could be swim trunks but in this case we have a couple of suits from tier and then we have a uh, a bathrobe. Okay. That's uh, from Ice Cream. That's soft. Yeah, we just got uh, we just got a ton of new um, uh, spa wraps in. That that's actually not a bathrobe. That's a spa wrap. Um, they're somewhat interchangeable, um, but tons of new spa wraps just came in from Ice Cream. So check those out. And then uh, the last uh, thing that Matt has for clothing is a rain jacket. All right. Yeah, you can throw that anywhere. All right. Um, so then, uh, Matt, I'm going to have you come back sure. over here um, to kind of finish off, you know, apparel. Uh, we've got uh, some different footwear. So these are flip flops. Uh, these are from Shower Flops, and there's holes in the bottom, so there's great drainage. They're antimicrobial, um, and there is a no skid bottom to them, so very safe for the shower. Um, we've got. Uh, uh, this packing list called for two pairs of tennis shoes. Now you're gonna wear one pair of shoes um, But uh, if you need to get a pair, we've got Under Armour tennis shoes here and we also um, Need a pair of water shoes or water sandals um, Keen is a new brand for us this year um, I'm sure everybody's familiar with them, but they make a fantastic uh, water sandal um, so, all right, we've got all of our, our apparel and uh, our footwear into the trunk now. Uh, we've still got some gear to get in there, but I want to throw it back to, uh, to Dr. Chris Thurber for a second. And I want to ask him, Chris, what are some items that you recommend that maybe we wouldn't see on a traditional camp packing list? Oh, that's a great question. What are a couple of things that you should pack for camp that are not on the packing list? Well, can I just say, start with the packing list because the camp has made a list based on years of experience knowing what kids need. So at least make sure you've got that. But then I do have three recommendations and you won't even find these recommendations in the summer camp handbook. The first is a couple of extra pillowcases. All right, now you'd think, well, one pillow, one pillowcase, what's the big deal? You know, pillowcases get used for different things at camp. Sometimes they get used to carry things from one place to another. Sometimes you'll go on a camp out and there'll be pine sap all over your pillowcase. And, you know, you don't want to sleep on something that's got, you know, pine sap on it for the rest of the camp stay. So being able to put another pillowcase on or change pillowcases, that's really important. You're going to be glad that you had it. The next is a permanent marker of some type. Now, labeling things is really important and something John and I emphasize in the Summer Camp Handbook. If you want something back, you've got to have your name on it. And you might buy some things at camp or maybe trade something at camp or maybe find something in your trunk that you forgot to label. So having a Sharpie or some other kind of laundry proof marker is a real important thing to pack. And then swim goggles. Now, I'm an aquatics guy, so I love to be in the water, but I also wear contact lenses and your child might also wear contact lenses or just be more comfortable with a pair of goggles. Probably the camp has some goggles, but this is an inexpensive item that's worth bringing and making sure that you know it fits your face. And of course, put these together, make sure you label your swim goggles too. All right, those are three things that aren't on most camp packing lists that I think you should bring. All right. Thanks again, Chris. Appreciate you joining us and uh, fantastic tips. Um, we're going to keep loading this trunk for now. Um, I guess we have 17 people that are uh, currently signed up to win a trunk. So your odds are fantastic. Um, and hopefully we can uh, get some more people in there um, and uh, get them registered to, to possibly win that trunk. So uh, let's keep going with the packing, though. Uh, we're going to move on to some uh, some bulkier items at this point. And we're gonna set some stuff off to the side because we know, for example, you know, like we said, we're not gonna fit literally everything into the trunk. We've done a pretty good job. We have, um, you know, all of our items um, that uh, we'd be using on a very consistent basis already inside of there. Um, why don't you read to me sure. here and uh, 
we'll uh, we'll continue packing. All right. So, so we're we picking are, up bath for footwear. Starting with bath, we have two bath towels. Okay. So we've got one bath towel here. The other one is inside of our uh, our toiletry pouch. Um, I'm gonna set those bath towels off to the side right now. Um, I think those will be a great item to, uh, you know, if we can fit them in the trunk later, we're going to. If not, they're gonna go inside a duffel or a backpack. Yeah, those are okay. big, big, big space eaters. Yep. Okay. Uh, a beach towel is next. That could okay. be the same thing yep. too. Same thing here. We've got our beach towel. Put that to the side. Then we have a couple items that are kind of awkward, so this will be helpful for you guys at home watching the shower caddy. Okay, right. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got this shower caddy um, loaded up with different toiletry items. Um, and uh, I'm going to pull out our glide and go tray. So this is our glide and go tray. It's an optional accessory. I highly recommend it. You know, if you weren't using a glide and go tray, I'm going to throw all those toiletries into a Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. I want something that is going to uh, contain any spills. Just in case anything goes wrong, um, we want to contain spills. We don't want that going into the camp gear. You know, the last thing you want to do is have to wash everything as yep. soon as you get to camp. So the glide and go tray pops open here. And I'm going to take, we've got deodorant. We've got here, in fact, let's close this up for a second. We'll throw the tray right on top here. So we've got insect repellent and deodorant in there. Um, you know, these are just empty bottles, yeah. but um, here's some shampoo, some conditioner, I think that was body wash. We've got sunscreen, we've got toothpaste, we've got a toothbrush, um, and you can see looking down there's still room inside Plenty of that of yeah there's tons of room inside here i mean we're maybe taking up half of the space with all those toiletries um so this can then get stored inside the trunk we'll open that back up and the tray glides from side to side and gives you access to the contents of your trunk that's below um you know right now we're bumping into those shoes a little bit i would expect that when you're first packing that you're going to bump into some things it's going to be a tighter fit but as soon as you get to camp and you're you know can take a couple things out of the trunk that tray is going to glide real smoothly yeah. um, i'm going to take uh my my shower caddy here and i'm going to store that inside the trunk that's something that can get pulled out quickly once we get to camp what's next on the list uh, next on the list, we have the laundry bag. Okay, so uh, laundry bag is another item where uh, you can use this. So along with like a duffel bag or say a backpack, this could be used for packing. Sure. So, you know, here's our, here's our laundry bag. This is one of our designer laundry bags. I think this is uh, the electric cotton candy. Um, fun design. We've got tons of different solid colors. We've got all these different designers. Um, and I could throw uh, my towels into here right out of the gate. I could get these, these beach and bath towels in there. I could get some bedding and blankets in there. For right now, I'm going to just throw this inside the trunk. Um, and I, I think we have plenty of space. Yeah. So we're just going to keep packing the trunk for now. What do we got next? Uh, next on the list is we're going to move to bunk, and that's bed sheets. Okay, bed sheets. So here's, uh, you know, going back to one of uh, Dr. Thurber's tips, we have our, uh, our four piece sheet set. It's available in either twin or cot size. Uh, you know, I should mention this product along with just about everything else that we're packing in the trunk today is available in the product carousel right below this, this live stream video. Um, but this is our four piece cot sheet set. You have a fitted sheet, you have the flat sheet, and then you have not one, but two pillowcases. Uh, that was one of Dr. Thurber's recommendations. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to move this trunk down here and we'll throw the bed sheets in right over there. Uh, what do we got next? We have the blanket. Okay. Uh, blanket, this is our, uh, our sweatshirt blanket. Uh, it's probably our most popular blanket that we sell yeah. here at Everything Summer Camp. Feels just like wearing your favorite hoodie. It really does. Yeah. So I'm going to set that off to the side here with these towels. We're going to hold off on that one. What do you got next? Mattress protector. Okay, mattress protector. I'm going to do the same thing with the mattress protector. We're going to set that off to the All side. Right, then we got the pillow. Okay, uh, pillow. I have that on the floor here. There we go. That's going to get set off to the side. And we end up with uh, bunk organizer and fan. Okay, perfect. So um, let's go to the fan first. 
I'm gonna slide this over. We're gonna get that fan. So this is our five inch uh, clip fan. We also have um, a deluxe fan mm -hmm. light. That's pretty popular because it's got a light built right. inside if your child wants to read a little bit at night. Um, so we'll go ahead and pack that fan in there. Um, you know, one tip that I wanna give with the fan and really just about any other camping item um, is that when you're packing, make sure that you're involving your child. Um, you know, it, it's gonna give them a sense of ownership over the experience. It's gonna have, uh, it's gonna take away some of the unknown from going to camp. And when you eliminate the unknown, there's less anxiety, less chance for homesickness, and, and you know, just questions about camp. Plus, they feel like they were a part of all the decisions. It's just, it, it's a better experience for your child. So involve them. But then when you're doing things, uh, when, when you're packing stuff like this fan, um, you know, go through and take a look at how they change the batteries. Um, you know, you're going to want to remove the batteries from this fan when you pack it just because you don't want it to turn on, um, you know, during transport. Um, so your child's going to need to know how to uh, install the batteries in the fan or just how it operates, you know, you know, have them have them understand how their their equipment works. That's a great tip, Mark, you know, and it's also a great um, way for them to visualize when they have to repack it to come home. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Right. Um, Okay, so then the other item, we kind of skipped over this one for a second. This is our bunk organizer. Um, this isn't found on a ton of camp packing lists, but it's really a, an incredible value and just a valuable item. Um, there's a couple Velcro straps at the top, a couple at the bottom. Uh, it can be attached to the bunk at camp. It has 16 different pockets. Uh, you know, this I like to pack on top because when you get to camp, you can attach this first right. and then you can start to unload your trunk into here. So, um, you can have toiletry items in here, shampoo, conditioner, hairbrush, pretty much I am. Um, flip -flops, you have, yeah, flip flops, games, games books, uh, yeah. Yeah, right, exactly. So we're just going to fold this up and pack that inside. And then this will be the first thing that we take out when we get to camp so we can start getting organized. I think I have some space down here. If you could throw that on yep. top of that range, perfect spot jacket for it. me. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll move on the gear now. Right, right. Drew, how are we doing on timing for the uh, the giveaway? Okay, perfect. So we've got about 11, 12 minutes to go. Okay. All right. That's about how we planned it. So. Okay. All right. So, um, next up here. Oh, here is. Uh, we almost missed this item because it's not, remember, it's not on the packing Correct. list, right? So, um, you know, uh, Dr. Thurber mentioned three different things. He said the, the second pillowcase, which we, we have as part of our, our four-piece uh, set. Um, he mentioned swim goggles, which um, is a fantastic recommendation. And we should have had them here on set today, but we didn't. Right. Um, but we do have uh, the other item that he mentioned, which is that permanent marker. Um you know, obviously you're going to be labeling everything at home, but what about stuff that you buy at the camp? Right. You know, most, uh, Matt, you work with a lot of the camps. Most of them have a physical store at they the do. camp. They do, yeah. They have a canteen, as most of you guys know, and uh, some of that stuff, especially nowadays, um, is not very in stock. So you want to make sure you label it and that people know it's yours. Right, right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to slide this tray back over here, and I'm going to throw this permit marker inside of the tray. That way we know that that is packed and, and heading off to camp with us. Um, oh, look at all the stuff we've packed in there and you can still slide that back and forth. Right, right, exactly, yeah. Okay, so now what do we have next? All right, we're on the gear and we got backpack, sleeping bag, flashlight, and two water bottles. Okay, okay, geez, that was a mouthful. So we'll start with backpack. All right, all right so this is a backpack from Under Armour. I will say backpacks have been extremely tough for us to keep in stock this year. Um, they're just, the supply is not there from any of the, uh, the, the, the our regular suppliers. Um, but we keep combing the internet, trying yeah. to find more to bring in for you guys. Um, I know that we do have some of the new Under Armour backpacks are available. Uh, they just went onto the site, I think about two days ago. Um, so awesome thing with a backpack, very similar to a laundry bag is it gives us something that we can pack in. Um, right. so. We have a couple of water bottles here. These are Camelback uh, Podium Chill water bottles. That's a nice water bottle. Um, we have tons of water bottles this yep. year. I will say that. We have an excellent supply of water bottles. 
We just started working with Hydra Flask this year. That's been a really popular one. And of course, Camelback is always popular. Um, so anyways, we've got our, our backpack now. Um, we might as well make use of this space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set some of this bedding to the side here and we're gonna get our bath towels into our backpack. And then we've got a beach towel. We can get that in there. Okay, so sitting pretty good now. We've got towels inside of our backpack. Um, here we've got our flashlight. So flashlight, you wanna open up yeah, the tray? Yeah, we can put that inside Let's, the tray there. There we go, why don't you help me out with sure. that? Sorry, I didn't quite make it in there. And I'm gonna go for it and I'm gonna put this, uh, this the mattress cover in there. Uh, one thing I do wanna mention, actually before I do that, is we have a couple different mattress covers this year. Mm -hmm. We've got this, uh, I guess, the typical like mattress encasement. So this is, uh, it's bamboo, uh, it's waterproof. Uh, it's a really nice way. I mean, I don't, you know, I know these camps do a fantastic job of keeping their cabins and beds clean, but you are still having your child sleep in a bed that other kids have slept in, mm -hmm. you know, like other people have been on that mattress. So I really think, um, you know, some kind of mattress protector is in order. Um, the, uh, the other one that we have, um, that's new for us this year is uh egg crate mattress pad. Um, and something that we noticed happening with egg crate mattress pads over the last several years was that the quality was just going downhill. Um, you know, I, I feel like eight years ago we had a really good quality one and then for several years it was just like this little in or little decrease I should say in the thickness or in the density of it. Um, and then last year we actually just kind of said enough is enough. You know, we can't find a quality egg crate mattress pad so we didn't sell one at all. Um, and now this year we've actually partnered up with a local company and they're making them uh, just for us um, and uh, it is a really high quality one. It's, it's by far the best one that we've ever sold. Um, not only is it going to you know put that clean layer in between your child and that camp mattress, um, but uh, it also allows for airflow so you stay cooler while you sleep um, and it just uh, makes a mattress that much more comfortable. Yeah. So definitely want to point that out. Um, let's see if we can get this in here. We might be pushing it a little bit. I think we can get it in there. Think so? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's it. All right. So go ahead and zip us up. So we're sitting pretty good at this point. We've got our backpack all packed up. We're going to throw our two water bottles into the side pouches on that. And then Matt, do you have some free space over there on your side? Oh uh, yeah. Here we'll do. pull the trunk um, down here a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna give corner. that to you. Just have you set that down there. So we're left with a pillow, a blanket, and a sleeping bag. So those are the only items. Did I get everything? Yes, you did. Okay. So these are the only items that we don't have into our trunk yet. And other than the miscellaneous stuff. Right, right. Um Right, yeah, and the miscellaneous stuff we'll we'll get in here in a second. So um Anyways, we're sitting real good um, with, with what we have packed here in the trunk. Um, and we have a very small pile that we know we're gonna be able to fit inside of a duffel bag. Um, I guess uh, I'm noticing, I think we had, what, about five minutes left? The timer's down right now. Yeah, just over five minutes left uh, to get registered for the, uh, the giveaway yep. for the trunk. Um, I'm gonna, I haven't checked our chat window for a while here. Drew, are we getting any chats on, uh, on YouTube? No. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, okay. We're getting pl plenty of chats though on, on the website, which is great. Um, you know, Debbie's thanking us for all of the, uh, the great ideas. Um, same with Nana, uh, just says our camp is only one week, but they hate when we bring trunks, but I bring one as it can fit everything for those one weeks. And I only have a day to repack to go back. Um, yeah, I mean, there are some camps that don't want you to bring a hard trunk. Yeah. Um, and we have our pop-up soft trunk. We don't have one of those um, with us here today, uh, but it is in that product carousel below. The cool thing about the, uh, the pop-up soft trunk is uh, it kind of functions similar to a trunk, right? Yeah. You have a wire frame inside. So it looks like a duffel bag, but there's a wire frame inside that keeps the trunk 
propped up kind of like a trunk would. Right. Um, the lid, there's even like straps to keep the lid propped up. There's even a, a lid mate organizer yeah, inside it has of everything it. a trunk needs or have, everything a trunk has except for maybe the extra durability. Right, right, yeah. So, um, you know, if, uh, if your camp doesn't allow a trunk, check out the pop-up soft trunk. I think that could be a really good alternative. Um, Let's see. Oh, uh, Debbie says, I hope you have time to talk about the wheel options on the trunk. Pros and cons on each type. Um, okay. Uh, the no-show Under Armour socks are the best. Uh, says Hydro Flask. Christina says Hydro Flask is great. Heavy, but they don't leak. I agree. They are heavy. Um, but uh, they'll keep stuff cold or warm forever. I guess that's kind of the trade-off for the, the extra weight. Um, so, let's see. Uh, my daughter brings the trunk and the soft attachable one on top. It's great. Yeah, yeah so that would be good for the sleeping bag. Uh, right, right. Yeah, so we do offer our uh, our um, snap-on duffel bag, which attaches to the trunk. Um, yeah, go ahead and shut that. Um, so we don't have a snap-on duffel bag on set today. Um, what do we have here? It looks like oh, here we got a nice big Under Armour duffel, but. Uh, if we have the snap-on duffel bag, it sits on top of the trunk, and then there's a strap that connects it to the uh, to the trunk. Right, um, snaps right onto it. Yeah, there's uh, yeah. two on the front, two on the back, and then uh, if you have the wheels on the trunk, uh, it makes it really easy to to yeah. tote the whole package around camp. Yeah. Right, very underrated product. I right, would say. right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So Debbie wanted us to talk about wheels for a second. Okay. So um, why don't you set that backpack down? We've got. Might as well shut this trunk for a minute here. There you go. All right. So uh, I, I believe it was Debbie. Debbie asked if, if we could get into the, the pros and cons of the different wheels. Let me just check back here. Um, scrolling through my phone. Yes, yes. Debbie wanted to know about wheels. So um, here's, here's the wheels that we offer. This is the most popular wheel. This is our, uh, our wheel away system. It's two wheels. They come inside this cinch sack. I'm gonna hold this wheel up to the camera here. There's a little ball bearing, little circle on the stem of that wheel. And there we go. So that ball bearing is spring loaded. And the wheels, Matt, if you would just uh, yeah, pop in that sure. one. Let me lift this up. So these wheels, pop on and off without using any tools. Uh, the wheels are about four inches in diameter. It's uh, basically an inline skate wheel. Um, so it's got ball bearings in there. And the trunk rolls on pretty much any terrain. Uh, and this thing's all loaded up. Um, I wish we had a little bit more room. We're on a, a tabletop here. Um, but uh, the nice thing with these wheels, like we used to have a wheel that was permanently attached to the, the outside of the trunk and we just saw too much damage. People were traveling on airlines or shipping with the, the you know, the, the big carriers like FedEx or UPS. Um, Let's and there go was, ahead and take that off while you're talking. Oh yeah, sure. So, um, see how easy it is. Right, anyways, we wanted wheels that would just pop on and off without the need for any tools so that you could have wheels when you need them and then you don't have them when you don't. So, like what we recommend is, you know, uh, to take your, your trunk into your camp bunk pop the wheels off, store them in the cinch sack, throw it inside the tray or the trunk, um, and uh, you know, go through your duration at camp without the wheels on, pop the wheels back on when it's time to head out of camp. Absolutely, um, that's the number one complaint we have from count uh, counselors is make sure when you're leaving to get on the bus, you take the wheels off. Right, the trunk. right, yeah. So anyways, so those are our most popular wheels. The other wheels that we have are our recessed wheels. And the recessed wheels were actually cutting through the steel and the wood on the side of the trunk. Um, and those wheels are getting partially embedded into the trunk, right? There's just a small portion of the wheel that, that extends out. Like most suitcases. Right, yeah, yeah, very similar to a suitcase, right? Um, so you wanna know the pros and cons. Um, I would say the pros to the recessed wheels are that they're always there. You don't have to pop them on and off, you just always have them. Um, let's see, what are, can you think of any other pros to the, the recessed wheels? Um, I can, I know that a lot of times, um, you know, because they're always on there, they're not, they don't bring as much height to, to the locker and um, there's, there's not as much hardware exposed. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I guess cons to the recessed wheels would be that if they break, it's a little bit more cumbersome to, to repair the trunk, right. right? More often than not, when those wheels break, the trunk is getting sent back to us for the repairs. Um, with uh, the, the wheel away system, if a wheel gets damaged, I mean, first of all, it's covered by our warranty, so you just let us know. I mean, even if you just lose a wheel, you just let us know and we'll get you another wheel. Um, so, uh, but then the con to it is like, you do have to put them on, right. you have to take them off, you have to make sure that you keep these handy, right? Like you've got to know where your wheels are. So, you know, we always recommend putting them right back inside of the trunk. So that would be the, the con to this is having to take them on and off and just having to kind of keep track of just where they are. Them. Yeah. So, all right. Um, so I believe that we are, uh, we're, we're closed for uh, any new um, entries into the, the trunk giveaway. Drew, how many people did we end up with? 15 unique. Okay, so we had 15 unique people. Wow, odds of winning are pretty good today. Yeah. So that, that's exciting. Um, all right, so uh, you do need to be present to win. Um, so, okay, I see we have a couple other questions here. Um, Let's see. Oh, is there a weight limit to the trunk? Um, so, Ka yeah, Kathy's asking, is there a weight limit to the trunk? So for on top of the trunk, uh, like if you were to sit or stand on the, the top, uh, we always say uh, 800 pounds. And I mean, it's even more than that. That's just what we say to play it safe. Um, Drew, are you able to throw up that image for me or do you got a little too much going on? All right. So. Drew's gonna throw up an image for me. Um, we uh, we did a photo shoot at one point and uh, we had eight kids standing on top of the trunk. So the weight limit for the top of the trunk, like we say, it's at least 800 pounds. Um, and we just say that to, to play it safe. For the interior, uh, we say 150 pounds. Uh, and that's, that's a lot. I mean, I, I think Drew and I, I think even you and I have carried a trunk just in testing purposes with 150 pounds in it. That is one heavy trunk. Man, that uh, was a lot. That was like ridiculous things that you wouldn't even need at camp. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, we were literally putting like big weights, weights from our forklift into the, the trunk just to test it out. So, um, yeah, uh, I mean, we say the inside weight should be 150. Um, and, you know, it, it would be tough for you to put that much gear inside of a trunk. Yeah, I can't so, imagine what it would right, be. Right, right. All right, so um, Drew, how are you doing on uh, on prepping for the, the giveaway? All done. All right, so Drew's all done. So we had 15 unique people, and um, Drew, are we gonna be able to watch this today or no? Nope. Nope, okay, all right. So we were working on something where we were gonna be able to show you exactly what was happening with the giveaway. Unfortunately, uh, our tech isn't, isn't quite ready for this yet. Um, but uh, what we're gonna do is we have all 15 names uh, inside of Oh, oh, you, we're going old school. There we go. Okay, we were gonna we were gonna do like some kind of like randomizer software, and we were gonna like throw that screen up. But uh, when we couldn't pull that uh, that technical feat off, Drew went old school, and we uh, we're doing names on a, a paper cup. Yeah, it's like there you go. the trunk around. Yeah, yeah, it got a little crazy here today. So okay, so this is everybody, and we're gonna get them. Hold on, we got somebody stuck together here. Okay, all right. Let's get all these into the hat. Make sure nobody's stuck together. Into the hat, I mean, into the, the red solo Funny cup. Funny looking hat, Mark. I know. It's basically. All right. Here we go. All right, here we go. Getting everything good and shaken up. What are they winning? They are winning, yeah, yeah, let's let's be clear exactly what you are winning. So you are winning uh, your choice of any one of our solid color trunks. So that's the companion, the happy camper, the undergrad or the graduate trunk. Um, you can take your pick of, of any of those trunks. Uh, they're all available in 20 colors. Um, and uh, what you'll do, the, the winner will need to contact us at uh, customer service at everythingsummercamp.com. We'll say that again in a minute here, um, but it's customer service at everythingsummercamp.com. You just let them know that you're part of the live stream today and you are the winner of the trunk. Um, we will be uh, informing them of who our winner is, so don't try to get a free trunk. <laughs> All right, here we go. Do we want to do a drum roll? All right. Whoa. Whoa. I just got the one here. Okay, there we go. 
Want to make it sure, look sure that I was digging down there. So okay, okay. Would you like to do the honors? No, 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 you go ahead. We have Jennifer Simpson. Jennifer Simpson. Show up to the camera. Jennifer Simpson. There we go. Jennifer, are you uh, are you here with us today? Can you comment in the chat if you're here? All right, so I've got uh, two, 218, we'll say. 218 is the time. At 219, if, uh, if Jennifer has not commented in the chat here, we are gonna draw another name. Because you do have to be present to win. They went to Camp Mohawk. Camp okay, Mohawk. so Jennifer went to Camp Mohawk. Oh, there we go. Jen just commented. Yay, thank you. All right, Jen. Um, I'm just going to type out the uh, the email address for you. So customer service at everything. Summercamp.com. Okay. So, all right, yeah, so Jennifer, I just threw our email address in there, uh, into the chat. All you need to do is reach out to customer service at everythingsummercamp.com, let them know that you won the trunk in today's live stream, and uh, they will, uh, they'll coordinate everything with you. So, um, you can go take a look, you know, spend as much time as you need to, to pick out the trunk that you want, let us know what that is, and uh, we'll get that shipped out to you right away. Um, so thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. These live streams are so much fun for us to do. It's a great way for us to connect with our customers. Um, and uh, if anybody has any more questions, we can stick around for a few more minutes. So let us know. Um, you know, we'll give it like another minute if you have any questions. Um, and uh, I guess we'll uh, we might as well pack this this duffel just to kind of show everybody that we can fit everything in here. Um, so this is a really good sized duffel. Yeah, it's huge. Um, and the only items we have left here, we have our, our pillow, that's going in. And we've got our sweatshirt blanket, and that's in. And then we've got our sleeping bag. We have a question on YouTube. Okay, oh, our shoulder strap ended up inside there. What's the question from YouTube? What is your opinion on the most common forgot item? Oh, the most common forgotten item. Um, we actually did a survey on this uh, a number of years back, and um, the the two items that were uh, kind of in a tie, uh, if I remember correctly, was a water bottle, and um, it was either sunscreen or insect repellent. Um, I'm trying to recall. I, can't, I remember doing the survey, but I don't remember what the answer was. Well, and it makes sense because what we'll see in um, in a lot of our, our orders, uh, like kind of late in the season orders, is we do see a lot of water bottles and a lot of insect and, and, and bug repellent. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised because it just seems like those would be items that would be remembered, but maybe it's because they're so small. Yeah, I think a lot of times they probably are ordering in that and they're like, well, we already have that. So we'll just, and then they forget to pack it. Right, right. You know, and maybe like with uh, sunscreen or insect repellent, um, you know, you have all your regular toiletries, right? Your shampoo, conditioner, yeah. toothpaste, deodorant, stuff like that. You but put that with it. You, right, right. I, I wouldn't necessarily think on a regular basis, you know, like when I got ready to come into work today, I didn't put on sunscreen or, right. or insect repellent. So maybe it's they they're so used to packing all the other toiletries. Those just get sure. forgotten. Um, but yeah, that's that's what that's what we have heard. So um, anyways, let's check the uh, the minute chat here. Um, all right. Oh, Jen says that her daughter's going to be super excited. So that's really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, we've worked with Camp Mohawk for a long we time, have, right? Yeah. Yep, we sure have. And they, they bought a lot of trunks from us over the years. Yeah, yeah, so that's super cool. Anyways, um, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, hopefully we'll be back with another live stream for you soon. And, uh, and we'll uh, let you know via email when, when, we're, when we're doing that. So thank you everybody. Have a great rest of your day.